Hello, Gemini. Elsie here to do your reading. Happy air day to you. And uh, you are sharing your day with the fire signs. I just put up a bunch of fire sign readings if you're dealing with a fire sign. Thank you so much for clicking here, Gemini. I appreciate you for doing that. If you are brand, brand new and you've never been to Ten of Cups Tarot before, thanks for giving it a shot. Thanks for clicking here. Uh, we do have a beautiful community growing by this time now. So if you want to be in the comments, that's where we like to be, some of us, if you're interested in doing that. For those of you who are always here, clicking, sharing, subscribing, loving on me in the comments, all the ways that you help this channel grow thank you for doing that i appreciate you the most and if you do want to subscribe the button is there uh, i notice that a lot of you come by to watch my readings you click and you view but you haven't subscribed so if you haven't done that yet and you do intend on staying i hope that you will subscribe this reading is always for the week ahead whether you find it today tomorrow or next year let's take a look at it we're going to look at some wisdom of the oracle and then we're going to throw down some tarot find out what's going on for gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the week ahead tell me about gemini building blocks. Leo just got that card. So if you're the one who has also been building yourself and you have anything to do with the Leo, you might want to go take a look at that reading. But it looks like you've been doing some hard work. I'm just going to say, Gemini, you've been doing some really hard work on yourself. Um, that we have uh, building blocks, which is card number 28. Look, this all of this building you've been doing, um, I feel is going to have this new beginning here. We have card number 28, which is a 10, which uh, breaks down to a one, which is the beginning of something. So uh, the building blocks here, we do have pink, we have blue, we have green, uh, we have brown. Um, it feels like you are getting some downloads. Pink is the crown chakra. Blue is the throat chakra. Green is the heart chakra. It feels like you are now coming into feeling your feelings and you're about to expel them through speaking about it. That's what it feels like. Oh, look at that. Interesting. We've got eight and two that is 10 that breaks down to a one. And then we do have a 10, which is also a one. We have new beginnings here. It feels like there is a new beginning after some sort of a stall or some sort of a break in energy. Um, a break in the action here, unfinished symphony. Um, and there are unfinished symphonies out there that purposefully are unfinished, but some of them are unfinished because the person passed away before they could finish the symphony. But I feel like there is something that ended, a beautiful song that ended, and I feel like it's time. It's time to birth it. It's time to, to resume the unfinished symphony Whatever that means to you. It could be that you took a break from work. You took a break from a relationship. You took a break from life. <laughs> it feels like there is something that is unfinished. And now you're feeling strong enough to be able to continue that thing. Bottom of the deck, we have round and round. I think that's what you were doing. I think you were going round and round and round until finally, until finally you stop on this dark purple energy, which is the third eye opening. We have pinks, we have blues, we have greens. Again, as we're saying here, we have yellows all also. So it feels like uh, the you've been working really hard on yourself and as doing that, that all of the chakras are opening. I feel like with the pinks and the purples here, it's like this is the place where your, your third eye begins to open. The lavender tells me that it's healing energy. Um, first you're healed here. First you're healed and then the third eye is opened, which is what is right here. Ooh, look at that. Now it gets really intense, right? You can see the transition here. It goes from being sort of sort of uh, lavender and pink and sort of um, a muddy yellow to being now I think I know where I'm going to wow no place like home and we have the third eye completely open here and so it feels like no place like home is what we're talking about here that there is someone here that feels like home and after going around and around or a place that feels like home after going around and around doing what you always did and not noticing your patterns you finally noticed your patterns and you decided to correct those patterns let's talk about tarot gemini that's a whole lot just for two cards <laughs> thanks for the energy it's great here we go gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter tell me what's going on with gemini tell me what's up with gemini please sun moon rising venus and jupiter tell me what's up with gemini We do have the Four of Wands. Mm, it's ready to you for stability. Um, I feel like since you've built yourself or since you've raised yourself up or you've um, cleared some chakra energy, whatever it is, it feels like it makes your whole home happier. I'm going to say that, you know, 1111 tells me that's usually 
for the most part, usually, if you are someone who has not yet woken up or you're not aware or not self-aware, this is usually the indication that you are now on the right path. 1111 is, is, is telling you that it's time for you to get up and do something different with your life. And I think you did. I think you noticed it. And I think you did um, start to move along uh, as per these building blocks here. These both add up to one, and one on one is two, which is balance. So I'm feeling like you're feeling the most balanced you've ever felt. Look, the the uh, judgment angel here is looking over at the four of wands and saying, I need to make a decision, a really big decision about something here. So you might be making a super big decision about your home, uh, about stability, about waking up it feels like it's the beginning of something because judgment is about that it's about the resurrection which means that something had to end it feels like there is a, a big decision that you're making here about your home about your spirituality judgment is virgo and pisces for me and then we have the magician because you have every trick in the book you have everything in the tickle trunk that you need in order to be able to move forward here um this person is um manipulating the energies, right? And I think that's what you did in order to have these building blocks. I feel like the energies are still around you. Um, this particular depiction shows the magician having the, the Ace of Swords in the left hand and the Ace of Wands in the right. And those are both masculine energies. And so maybe you are someone who is predominantly masculine. But please understand that we, um, we all have feminine and masculine energies, right? People, plants, and animals, all of us. And uh, we have to have those in order to be balanced, right? And this particular one, I feel, because of the fire energy, is a masculine leaning, but it's also feminine energy. Tell me more. We have the King of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Six of Wands. Look, it feels like somebody here is pretty serious about going out and finding some love. I think somebody here is ready to expand their life through the Magician energy. I know that I've got all of the Aces in hand. I've got all of the energies. I'm manifesting what I want. It's time for an adventure. It's time to fly. Again, this person has chosen the Ace of Wands. This person has, oh, look at that. They've both got them in their right hand. They've both got them in the right hand. Maybe you're right-handed, but it, they've both got them in the right hand. And I would say it's the right way to go. It's the right path. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, which tells me that you're coming from a place that was really tough for you. It was really tough. It was, um, you know, the Six of Wands is indicative of victory after a hard time, after a dark time, after um, things were really hard for you for, for you in the past. And maybe you're coming out of a dark time where you decided to leave or get victory um, over whatever traumas you had dealt with in the past. We do have the Four of Wands. The Six and the Four is Ten. And in between them is the King of Cups. And to me, that tells me that you're dropping burdens as it pertains to your emotions or how you feel them or show them. The King of uh, Cups is Scorpio, but also Cancer and Pisces, because this is a general reading, right? It's not going to resonate for everybody. It's all three. But this is Scorpio energy. And, this, and Scorpio is um, beautifully deep. Somebody who is very psychic and beautifully deep. Someone who loves to a crazy depth. And um, someone who is very protective. Um, this person is holding a cup. I feel like this could be your energy. And although I know that you're uh, air energy, um, I feel like you are... It feels like you are ready. You're emotionally open. Um, this person is kind of like their chest is open, right? So their arms are not crossed or anything like that. And I feel like you're emotionally available, emotionally well. I think you're emotionally deep. But it took dropping these burdens here in order for you to become that. Um, I feel like you have come from a really hard place. I feel like you're about to make a really big decision in love, like the biggest decision you've made in a very long time, um, which means you're going to be you're going to be putting to bed something that is old, something that uh, never really served you because the judgment is always about the resurrection, something in order for something beautiful to begin, something has to die. So it's like, um, it, it feels like with judgment here that you're making some sort of really big decision about your family life and maybe your love life as well and how you connect that with 
with your uh, awakening, your spiritual awakening, or with your home. We do have six and two, which is eight. It tells me that there is, um, I feel like when you go out here to expand your life, that uh, you're making a really big decision possibly to communicate with somebody, but we'll take a look here. Bottom of the deck, in the future somewhere, there is the Ace of Cups. So maybe you, you know, the Ace of Cups is in the hands of the King. Maybe you're looking at possibly finding someone else who has another cup. Tell me about building blocks, please. Tell me about building blocks. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We do have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the one who's liberating themselves. You know, she has the... She has the... Um, she has the Ace of Swords in her hand, which is the truth, honesty, right? This is clarity that you've needed. I feel like it's clarity about the self, that you've liberated yourself, that you've decided that you are going to invite people into your life and you're going to treat them as they treat you. I feel like you've liberated yourself. You're now speaking out. You're being... Um, not aggressive but assertive with your words uh, I feel like you're really letting people know what you think you're feeling like you're like you're on a solid foundation now so you can stand up and say whatever it is that you've always wanted to say that you are looking for some sort of exciting passionate creative path you're ready for that I think that in the past you've held back four and one is five and that's indecision the five of wands but I feel like you're ready now I feel like you've got this solid the solid uh, energy here that you're ready to work with. Yeah, you've learned a bunch of things. Not not about other people, but I feel like you've learned a, a, a bunch of things about you. I feel like you've come to your light. You realize that wisdom is where it's at, moving slow, going over the details. I feel like you've been here for a while, but I want to say that you're now entertaining maybe something that is more passionate or exciting or creative, that you want this brand new path, and you're standing up and letting somebody know that that's where you're at at this time gemini um tell me about the unfinished symphony what do we need to know for gemini for the unfinished symphony please tell me about the unfinished symphony so the unfinished symphony i feel like you've healed since there's been some type of an ending with someone since the music stopped i feel like you um were heartbroken i feel like you needed to heal the self the ace of swords is here for you to pick up at any time and i feel like you do uh the queen of swords is holding that ace of swords right we do have the uh four of pentacles and then we have the Seven of Wands. So you're feeling a little more flexible in your energy. Maybe you've loosened up your boundaries just a little bit. It feels like you're ready to let people back into your life. Um, the Four of Pentacles for me is holding on to something, holding on to the healing. So maybe you're holding on to the lessons. To me, the swords are always about lessons, communications, connections, the things that you've learned, the things that you hold in the mind. I feel like you're holding on to that as you open yourself up for this symphony to continue that's what it feels like that you're sort of being a little more flexible in your energy here tell me about the four of wands please for gemini tell me about the four of wands we've got the death card something is transforming here and we do have the nine of swords so it's the end of the worry i like it and then we have the Knight of Wands. So if you are somebody who's been worrying about your home, worrying about your stability, I want to say you no longer have to worry because the universe is saying, look, you can just trans transmute, transform that energy and you, uh, you'll you be fine. It feels like you need to just end the worry. And it's easy enough to say, well, how do I end the worry, Elsie? <laughs> it's easy enough to say, stop worrying, <laughs> right? But I think you need to stop looking in the past and comparing it to your present. Um, leave what's in the past in the past and stop looking so far in the future. The only place for us to survive, the only place where we have any control about what goes on is the present moment. You must always be in the present moment here. I feel like... Um, this is, is quickly happening here. So if you're still worrying at this point or looking too far in the future or too, looking too far back, I feel like you are going to be inspired to just move forward here um, to the victory. We've got uh, one, four, and uh, another one here, which is six, and we have six here. So I feel like you're inspired to have some sort of a victory here. But first, it's going to be the transformation of your thoughts. You must stop looking into the past. You need to disconnect yourself from anything back there. Stop terrorizing yourself with those thoughts from back there. 
Tell me about the judgment. What's the big idea here? What's the big change? Somebody here is taking um, some inspired action. The King of Wands gets what they want all the time. This person's never going to give up until they get what they want. Uh, the only thing that stands between the King of Wands and what they want is certain death. The King of Wands would rather die than, <laughs> than have to say to people, oh, I went after that thing and didn't get it. The King of Wands has a little bit of ego, right? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is, is really working on um, taking inspired action and moving forward here. I feel like it also, the Eight of Pentacles is an indication that you've been working really hard on the self. It's Virgo energy. And for me, judgment is also Virgo energy. It's also going over what you've done, what you've, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the hermit energy. It's like going over what you did, what you do not want to repeat. It's, you need to know your cycles and your patterns. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, you really look over that energy really closely here. We have the Fool. So you're making a really big decision to have some sort of movement after you've survived a tower. Um, I feel like you're you're disconnecting from this tower energy and you're moving away from that. Um, the tower also only comes when you've left things on the back burner for too long. The tower never comes to interrupt your beautiful, wonderful, healthy, spiritual life. That's not what the tower is for. The tower arrives when you have left an old, um, an old, um, timeline or an old energy back there and it never suited you it was a house built on the sand not on the rock so it it the tower comes to bust down the illusion to remove the energies make room for new energies that are coming in and what we have new here is you're making a big decision to clean the slate and begin again i don't think you're taking a whole lot of things with you where you're going maybe you're moving house we do have the six of swords here maybe you could be moving away mentally from something that was stressful something that was hard it feels like there's transformation here it might have to do with a home look for some people if you get divorced do you still want to live in that family home or do you want to move maybe there's too many memories there but it does feel like there is movement here finally tell me what you're manifesting because i think whatever you want wants you gemini i think that that's the truth and you're about to step out into some sort of expanse here we have the five of swords we have the emperor and then we have the three of cups interesting so I feel like you want to speak to the emperor. Uh, maybe you are the emperor. Take it as it resonates. But the five of swords is about, you know, alienation or isolation. I feel like that's your manifestation is I'm no longer going to get to this place where I have to throw down the swords and walk away. I'm going to be a little more stable and sturdy and honest with myself and honest with other people. Um, this is the conqueror, the person who will who will get what they want because the emperor never takes a chance to go running after the things that only appease them. When the emperor is in the upright, this person is strong and sturdy and grounded. This person is also um, emotionally available. They are someone who speaks their mind. They are someone who is getting their life in order. Someone who is now in charge. So I feel like um, what you're manifesting is being in charge of this energy because I feel like this energy is what puts you in a hard place in the first place. I feel like this is a reason to celebrate that you are now manifesting happy things, celebration, getting out with friends, being more social. I feel like you're taking charge of that. So you might be the one making the calls, inviting people over. Hey, do you want to go out for a coffee? Hey, do you want to go to a movie? It feels like you are now getting some movement in your life, whereas before you were feeling pretty stuck. Tell me why the King of Cups is here, please. I think you want victory in love. That might be something that you're ready for in your fool energy here, taking this leap of faith after all the hard work you've done on the self. We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Seven of Cups. So yeah, I think you're ready to come back in after being on the outside looking in. I feel like after being disconnected from your feelings or um, being disconnected from feeling romantic or wanting new love, um, this is Piscean energy after being disconnected from your intuition. Your intuition was kind of telling you that it's time again. You'd been going round and round, remember. You were kind of going round and round in this pattern or this um, could be a thought pattern or a pattern in your life doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result um, we do have the seven of cups and I want to say the seven and the one is eight that maybe you had been feeling disconnected from your emotions uh, but also the seven of cups tells me that although you're ready for it I feel like you're emotionally available I think you've got your emotions all under the surface but all gathered to a place where you're kind of stoic on the surface but you're not going to show any of that energy until you're ready I feel though now you're no longer disconnected though because I want to say the five of pentacles is between the knight of cups and the king of cups so I feel like you're you're I feel like you've squashed that is what I want to say and although it's a it's a little bit um 
overwhelming, I think, to be out there again, dating or trying to find love. I feel like you're ready for it. Um, tell me why the Six of Wands is here. We do have the Six and the Two, which is Eight, and it feels like you already have someone in mind that maybe you want to communicate with somebody, maybe ask them out possibly. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. We have the Hanged Man, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords. There is somebody that you've been watching, my friend. I feel like you have been digging up information, trying to come upon more information. I feel like you are the student of love, but I also feel like after being stuck for a while, that maybe you are stuck watching somebody that you really have deep feelings for. And they could be somebody who is a Pisces. I feel like you are... Um, with the Eight of Wands, I feel like you're about to communicate with somebody here, reach out to someone who you do have feelings for that I think you've been hiding under the surface here or you have been stuck in this emotion and it's time for you to speak it out. It's time for you to tell people what you've learned. And I think what you've learned is that um, it's time for you to start again in love. I feel like that you are the emperor, but you're showing up as the king of cups, feminine or masculine. Take it as it resonates. You could be dealing with someone who is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We also have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Virgo. Uh, we also have Aries energy a couple of times, Virgo and Pisces energy. Take it as it resonates. We have the Six of Cups. I think you're looking for not just anybody, but someone who maybe you've known for a really long time. Someone that you have feelings for. Someone who you have nostalgia with. Someone who you feel very connected to. And I think there you are, Gemini, with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Truth is in your hand. You're about to tell someone truly what you think about them after being stuck in your head for a really long time. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much, Gemini, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I will go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back, y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.